I want to talk about Neil Bortz and his sidekick, Eric Erickson, who are two racist pricks that should be taken off the air. Now, Neil Bortz will never lose his job for the racist comments that he made a while back, uh, talking about black people, black thugs need to be killed in the streets of America. Now, he'll never lose his job because these are some racist rednecks here in the state of Georgia, and um, that is something that we have to deal with as black people here. Now, when they talk about the entitlement mentality, who they're talking about are Obama supporters who have an entitlement mentality. They're talking about black people or Obama supporters with an entitlement mentality who feel entitled to government handouts. Um, they're talking about black people who are constantly looking for government handouts and therefore aren't sufficient or intelligent enough to stand on their own two feet. Um, they're talking about people who would rather live off welfare and food stamps than to get a job and work. Um, basically, they're calling Obama supporters and black people lazy and uneducated by using the terms entitlement mentality. Okay? They're a bunch of racist assholes. Um, and um, basically, I'm tired of this racist fucker named Neil Bortz. I'm tired of him. I've been listening to his bullshit now for quite some time. And um, I'm just tired of him. I'm tired of him. I'm tired of him flaming. I'm sorry, fanning the flames of racism. Um, I'm tired of Eric Erickson. I'm tired of various others just constantly fanning the flames of racism in this country. Uh, they're basically manipulating these white supremacist nationalist groups, uh, white nationalist groups. They're manipulating these motherfuckers basically to go out and vote against the Democrats in the coming elections, in the upcoming elections. And uh, it's all a game to them. It's, it's a game that they're playing over the airwaves. They, they spew their racist hatred constantly over the airwaves and I'm just tired of listening to the shit and more black people should be rising up against this fucker and, and trying to get him off the air um, but obviously um, most black people here in Georgia are too busy being slaves and <laughs> working a nine to five or what have you to give a damn about Neil Bortz um, about his racist remarks um, about him talking about the streets of Atlanta being littered with the dead bodies of urban thugs, black youth he was talking about. He was talking about. And um, this fucker actually believes that black youth is the problem. Mr. Bortz, you're what's wrong with America today, not black youth. Black urban thugs, as you put it, is not the reason for your racism. Black people is not the reason why you're a racist pig. You was, taught to how, you was taught how to be a racist from a very young age. You was taught how to be a racist asshole against anybody that doesn't look like you. Or doesn't act like you or doesn't think like you. And you want to call black people or Obama supporters lazy and unintelligent and that's why they haven't made it in life motherfucker you don't know nothing about me you don't know what I've been through what I've tried to do in my life and what I am currently doing now so before you talk about anybody having an entitlement mentality anybody any black person you need to look in the mirror at yourself you need to judge yourself, you hypocrite. Western civilization accounts for all of the all of the world's miseries today. Western civilization. And a lot of people hate America and have very good reason to hate America. Many people hate America for very good reasons. Because this country basically 
has terrorized the entire world, this country. The U.S. government is the biggest terrorist network on the planet. Now, you could talk about me having an entitlement mentality, having this mentality where I feel that I should get government handouts, you know, but you're, you're a damn lie. I don't feel like I should get government handouts. I, I don't want the government controlling my life. I want the government to stay out of my life and have less control over my life. As for you racist, hillbilly, conservative Tea Party, inbred, dumbass motherfuckers that don't even know that the ancient Egyptians were black people. You guys are the dumbest motherfuckers I have ever encountered in my life. You don't comprehend very well. You don't listen very well. And you're making yourselves look like a bunch of assholes and you're making yourselves look stupid with some of the comments that you're leaving me under my channel. I'm just flabbergasted by some of the comments that you have left. They're some of the dumbest comments I've ever, I've ever read in my life. Some of you are too, are too stupid to realize that there was technology that existed long ago. Light bulb technology that existed long ago. Thomas Edison was not the inventor of the light bulb, dumbasses. You guys are seriously delusional. You're living in a dream world in which you feel that you are the heroes in the dream world. But Western civilization will soon come to an end.